I'd like to begin by thanking you for your work on this regulatory reform package. I think uh, there's a number of provisions in there that I'm encouraged by that are contained in the white paper. There is, however, one that raises concerns, and let me raise that with you, and, and that's to ask you about the resolution authority that you discuss in the white paper. This idea, as, as you portrayed it, is for government to unwind failed institutions, but it seems to allow for simply propping up struggling firms. It seems to be basically permanent bailout authority. And I guess the reason I'm, I'm concerned You've got the government, you've got politicization of the, of the economy as it is. We're looking at a situation where we might have a government takeover of health care, of the energy markets, the government's running GM and, and Chrysler. And now you look on page 77 of the, re of the reform proposal, and this is how it reads. The regime also should provide for the ability to stabilize a failing institution by providing loans to the firm, purchasing assets from the firm, guaranteeing the liabilities of the firm, or making equity investments in the firm. This sounds like the FDIC's Open Bank Assistance Authority, which provides direct funding to an operating insured bank to keep it from failing. And, and such authority is, of course, markedly different from a resolution authority that would entail an orderly unwinding of a failed institution. So you could have, basically, permanent bailout authority where the federal government continues just to keep putting taxpayer money into institutions. Congressman, if, you, if we were proposing that, what you described, you would be right to be concerned, and I would not support a proposal described as you did. What we are proposing to do is to take the basic framework that the Congress legislated to allow the country to deal with risks to the financial system posed by the failure of banks and thrifts, and to adapt that framework to give a similar authority to deal with a large, complex financial institution. The absence of that framework and that authority was enormously damaging to this country. We're going to take a framework that was carefully designed by the Congress with good checks and balances, lots of experience over time, and simply adapt that framework to give us similar tools to help manage the unwinding and the failure of large, complex institutions. Uh, that's the proposal. And again, there's a, the virtue of using the model we have which is the FDIC resolution framework, is that that has been tested. People understand its merits and complexity, and that gives us, I think, a little better basis for finding consensus on the right, on the right approach. But, of course, given recent actions and given the fact that this is worded in a way that it does not require an unwinding process, uh, given the fact that uh, based on current actions, <laughs> We're, we're left with the assumption that this certainly would allow, the way it's written, ongoing government involvement in a way which would continue to put taxpayer funds into an entity uh, without limit. And, and let me, I, I let don't me ask one has, other question. I don't what? think it has that risk, Congressman, again, because okay. uh, the centerpiece of our reform proposals are to create a system that is strong enough to withstand the failure of major institutions. But to do that effectively, we need authority Congress yeah. gave the let me Let me ask my last question. Okay. You were at the table for many of the discussions to either provide a lifeline or let a given institution fail. These were very dif difficult decisions at a critical time. Uh, if I could ask you to commit your staff to provide for the record a detailed analysis walking us through how this authority would have changed the way in which AIG or Lehman Brothers was, were handled and exactly how the counterparties of these firms would have been treated differently under this regime? Uh, hard to do, but I'm happy to try to do that well, and, I, and I'm sure I'm going to have the opportunity to testify before uh, the Financial Services Committee on the broad range of... Uh, broad You're to do that. I'd appreciate it. 